Hey, it's Paul Ramani here. Just finished my uh, magic lecture. I've got some uh, great effects using uh, Out to Lunch. So I'm fascinated by time, and uh, these are my business cards. What, what time is that, Greg? Yeah. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And I'll just have you, if you would, please, just uh, initial down there on the coin, maybe. And you can write eight o'clock down underneath as well. Somewhere just put eight. So the time is eight o'clock. Now this is a, my, my, my regular watch, and if I take the, pull the handle out, it goes round and round, you can get different times. We're going to aim for 8 o'clock, and then when you're finished, push it in. Boom. In, so it's in. in. So let's see how you did, because you were aiming for 8 o'clock. Now you didn't see it, but you're aiming for 8 o'clock to see if you can match the watch. Would you please turn it over and have a look what you got? I've got uh, almost 2.15. You got what? You want to see a coin trick? <laughs> <laughs> what time was on the card? 8, eight, eight o'clock. You wrote down 8 o'clock. Have a look at what time the watch says now. Come on. So, I mean, this is the place to come if you want to do magic with our, uh, not many props. We have uh, something, yeah, that's right. Um, um, uh, one card trick that just completely bamboozled everybody in the studio. Uh, what I'd like you to do is, um, I'm going to ask you just to cut the deck, please. Look at this card. Don't show anyone. Don't sh I don't want to oh. see it. No, no, don't show them. Place it back on here, complete the cut, and square it up. So now would you know where the card was? I, now I don't. We'll give it one more cut, just to make sure. Now I do. Okay, <laughs> yeah, now I do. Would you please take the deck, George, and cut the deck? You can cut it as many times as you like. Look at his acting. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Give me a number between one and 52. Uh, three. One, two, what was the card? Three of diamonds. And uh, what else? Well, it's just jam-packed with everything. I think we did like 12 hours of recording and hopefully we'll get two minutes. So come along, have some fun. So again, this is mental epic, but without the props, just business cards, okay? What I'll ask you to do, play one, is I'm gonna write something down. I want you to give me a name of a country, any country. Just name one out. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Close enough. New Zealand, okay. I'm going to ask player number two to give me a, we'll do a time of day. Okay, let me just write this down. So player number two, I'm going to write down something. I'm going to write down this. Player number two, I want you to, I want you just to give me any time of day. 8.05. 8.05. AM or PM? AM. In the morning, 8.05 in the morning. Player number three, okay. Uh, I'm going to write something down again. Um, I have a Rubik's Cube, I want you to put it behind your back, and you're probably the wrong person to give this to. Um, don't solve it, put it behind your back. Put it behind your back. Uh, and I want you just to very quickly mix it up. I want you just to quickly look at any side and look at the middle colour of any side and then just pass me the Rubik's Cube. Got it? Pass me it. Okay. So now what I want you to do is uh, what... Did that just fool me? What colour, <laughs> what colour are you thinking of? I'm thinking of red. Red, I'm going to write down red. Okay, so you thought of red. The colour I wrote down was red. Uh, 8.05 a.m. I wrote down 8.05 a.m. And finally New Zealand, I wrote down New Zealand. That's good. Just come and enjoy this lecture that will prove to you that I am nowhere like Erdenaise. <laughs>